the Bamum are going to look at art as glorifying the living ruler. Again, we are in Western Africa along the Gulf of Guinea. And this is really present-day Cameroon. And we're looking at their tradition of thrones. These thrones are going to be particularly important. They're carved for each individual ruler. They're generally made of wood and very brightly painted, as we're going to see. And we're looking at this specific example. So the royal arts of Bamum regularly use rich colored textures and luminous materials such as beads and cowrie shells. And the intertwined blue and black serpents, in this case, decorate this cylindrical seat. So if we look at it, we have the serpents right down here underneath the seat. Uh, the seat is this piece up here. So he's sitting up here. The two figures act as the back of the seat. And then we see these two intertwined serpents. And the idea of intertwined creatures is really common in art. Usually it means some kind of unification or unity. This idea of everyone standing together behind the ruler. The two figures in the background are royal attendants, uh, bringing drink and bringing food. The king's bodyguard below, here on the footstool, actually hold European-style rifles. This would be a symbol of power because not all African cultures, African groups, had access to European weapons. And so those that did, those that had guns, obviously are going to show that power because they are going to be a more formidable fighting force. Now we have the footstool itself. At the bottom in this rectangular base, we see these dancing figures. This would be a symbol of good rulership. In other words, if you are a good ruler, your people will be happy. And dance is frequently associated with that. We see the same thing in many European traditions. Uh, Lorenzetti, for example, when he creates his frescoes in the city of Siena, his allegories of good government and allegory of bad government, uses the same basic symbolism. The king's bright clothing would also complement the throne. It would go with these colors. The whole thing is basically advertising his wealth and, more importantly, his position within society. It would also act as something to remember the king by. It would, on occasion, be kept in the case of a very powerful or very what's seen as a very good king. 